Seven from the Competent Communicator, and that is all about researching your topic. If you ever wondered, what does the funny little bird with the T have on it, or what does the box in T have, have in it, that symbol in the box, what does this mean? Or if you have a Twitter account and you're wondering, how do I use it? Well, this speech is for you. <laughs> Stephanie's speech tonight is called, Why It's Important, a, t a Twitter tease. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Please help me welcome <laughs> Stephanie. Well, everyone, thank you so much for the warm introduction. And today we're going to talk about a subject that I am absolutely passionate about. Twitter. Now, properly, by the end of this speech, you will understand why it's important for you to know about Twitter, what you need to know about Twitter, and why knowing about Twitter is important to you. So let's get started. Online communication, something that I've spent quite a bit of time learning about and I'm very interested in. And I'm not the only one. According to Stats Canada, in the year 2000, 40% of Canadians were speaking online. In 2009, 79%. And 2011, I can guarantee to you that that is even greater. Now, why is Twitter important? Well, we're talking about 160 million individuals, users using Twitter, and 65 million messages happening. With this little bird. So what is Twitter? Well, it's very simple. We're talking about messages. But with all messaging, there's a bit of vocabulary that we all need to learn, and we're going to learn it today. So, starting out, a message is a tweet. The first thing you need to know. Second, if you hear or read that message, you're following somebody. And of course, when it comes to a message system that only allows you to talk in 140 characters at a time, we need to shorten communication. Categories or hashtags, if you pass something along, it's called a retweet or an RT. And if you're speaking at somebody, then you would use that sign. So let's get started. Should we test it out? I would like everyone in the audience that has a birthday happening in March, March, May, or April to stand up. Come on, this is you. Now what I want you to do is tell somebody in and around the area, by the way, I think on Twitter, let's call you spring birthday, hashtag spring birthday. Now tell somebody what that date is. Okay. Please um, simply look around and find someone to tell that who, or tell somebody in your area the date of your birthday. May 11th. Did anyone hear that? Yes. yes. Everybody who heard that followed her, and that's what that means. Now let's go a little further. Can someone who, um, did someone hear that? Put your hand up if you heard that. Now I want you to tell somebody else that birthday. Yeah. Okay. Birthday was May 11th. <laughs> you have officially retweeted that message. Kind of fun, huh? Hey, <laughs> okay, now you guys have got the basics down. Let's go to a bit of advanced Twitter. Hmm. I think we'll start with you. What I want you to do is tell someone on that side of the room, you can choose who it is, what your favorite type of cake is, and I want you to do it this way. Roma, my favorite type of cake is cheesecake. Excellent. Now, who heard that? Thank you very much. <coughs> you are now following that message. Now, let's go a little bit more advanced and find out why it is important 
that when we personalized the message, more individuals heard about it. It's, well, that's how we draw our community in. Extremely important. I'm going to give you one more advanced Twitter tip when you are writing your own communication messages online. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to retweet that message. I think that we should have cake because Toastmasters should eat cake on birthdays. Hashtag. What I've done is that I've allowed a message to move across in a personal way and I've allowed individuals in the entire group that we are, in the entire community, to categorize what we're talking about. When you do this, personalize messages online and include everybody in a community, it gives it value. So where does this all come together? Twitter is really just as simple as having a conversation and passing a message on to new individuals. So why is it so difficult? Because of the language that exists. Something that we're going to have to learn together. And why do you need to know about Twitter and why knowing about Twitter is important? Well, let's bring it back. When you personalize a message, you get a chance to involve into a community those that you do not know. It broadens the message and it moves it further out. When you personalize a message, you give it value. And when you give a message value, it becomes influential. Influential messages move all the way through the internet in a way that it's memorable. That's the key to using Twitter. Very simple. And I'm going to take it all home so you can understand in a case study of, of one company within the Vancouver area that did a very effective job of using this very basic tool online. Now, has anyone gone to the downtown Sky Train Station and remember a restaurant called the Transcontinental? Some of you have. You're probably the only ones that did. They had a bit of an issue. They couldn't get people into the restaurant. So what they decided to do is broaden it out to a, a community, a full community, by offering daily specials to their followers on Twitter. It was a fantastic and successful engagement. And a matter of fact, our statistics tell us that their last 50 tweets reached over 7,500 individuals. That's the power of Twitter. I hope you will also take advantage of it and enjoy it. Great, Stephanie, to see the power.